Meantime, uh, there's a summit tomorrow in Seoul where leaders from China, from Japan, and South Korea will discuss North Korea. China is expected to resist pressure to acknowledge that North Korea torpedoed a South Korean warship, something that the United States says it did do back in the month of March. For more on these tensions in the Korean Peninsula, we're joined by the former U.S. ambassador to that country of South Korea, Tom Hubbard. He's now senior director for Asia at McLarty Associates. Uh, good morning to you, Ambassador. What do you believe will happen at this summit in the next few days? Which way will China tip? Will they criticize and, and stand by uh, the claims that North Korea did do this? Well, good morning, Margaret. It's, uh, it's very good to be here. Uh, as for your question, I think it, it uh, is still unclear exactly how China will respond to what I believe will be a good deal of pressure from uh, their uh, South Korean and Japanese counterparts to, uh, to, to acknowledge that North Korea indeed did carry out this deliberate attack on a, a South Korean vessel and that there should be some, some consequences for, for that action. It's not easy for China to uh, criticize North Korea. Uh, but, uh, but I think the facts speak for themselves in this case, and, and certainly hey, we all hope that China will recognize that. And not easy for them to, to criticize North Korea, you say, because of the trade ties between uh, China and that country? No, I think it's because of the long historic uh, political ties with, uh, between these uh, two uh, longtime communist regime, regimes. China has much more trade with South Korea than it has with North Korea, certainly many uh, more exports. And so uh, one thing that is different as we face this, this renewed crisis or tension on the Korean Peninsula is that China has a much bigger stake in its relationship with South Korea and, for that matter, uh, Japan and the United States than it did in the past. Uh, but yet we've heard from the Secretary of State of this country, from Secretary Clinton, saying that we are fully backing these claims made by South Korea that their vessel was torpedoed by the North Koreans. Uh, and the U.S. has a deterrent force, I'm reading, of 28,000 troops in South Korea. Given the pressure by the United States, I mean, how does that factor into the calculus here? Well, I, I certainly we do back the South Koreans. I've, I've seen several presentations of the evidence, and it is very, very clear. Uh, uh, our relationship with South Korea is probably closer now than it has ever been. Uh, our two presidents are very close. Our approaches to North Korea and other issues in the world are, are very close. And I think the Chinese need, uh, need to, to understand that, uh, that uh, uh, they have more at stake in this particular crisis than simply their relationship with North Korea. They have at stake uh, their, their, uh, their increasingly close relationships with, uh, with the United States, South Korea, and Japan as well. Ambassador, you know, you've, you've worked in the region for some time. You've got great knowledge of it. You said you've seen this evidence. Um, given that, that we're hearing that the U.S. military is preparing exercises, uh, military exercises in the region, can you give us some perspective here on the level of of tension because there are a fair amount of skeptics out there who say when it comes to North Korea it's hard to tell what's political theater and what's real. Well, uh, you know, one thing that is not uh, political theater uh, is the death of 46 uh, South Korean sailors uh, uh, b uh, due to uh, a North Korean uh, a torpedo attack. So this is real. It goes beyond theater. But I think, you know, times are are there we are seeing more tensions than, than we have in in recent years uh, I think at fault here is is the North Koreans but one thing right. that is different than 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 what we saw in the past is we have a very confident South Korea uh, led by a leader who is approaching this this uh, this tension uh, uh, firmly uh, mm -hmm. but also with a very uh, careful judicious uh, uh, approach no one wants to see an escalation of this this crisis, we all want the North Koreans to to stop their uh, their unacceptable behavior and 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 rejoin the international community. All right, thank you so much for your perspective.